Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Harry Ape by Eugene O'Neill. The Harry Ape is a play in which it shows the negative effects of industrialization. We find a crew of firemen who are drinking on the forecastle of a ship. Though they seem happy, there is some tension between them and it is as though they may get into a fight at any moment. The men sing sometimes about alcohol and sometimes about home. The main character Yank verbally attacks the idea of home, women and emotional involvement. And his friend Long blames the miserable life because they feel that they are suffering because of the capitalist class. And Yang says the workers are better than the capitalist class. Paddy launches into a bout of nostalgia for the days before engine when, according to him, the ship, the sea and man were united as one. Yang tells him he is crazy and dead. He thinks of Paddy as a relic of an age gone by and says that he is steel. Meanwhile, on the deck, Mildred Douglas endures her aunt's chidding as they chat and recline in the deck chairs. Her aunt teases her about Mildred's attempts to help the poor through her efforts in social service. Despite the fact that Mildred enjoys the comforts and benefits of her family's fortune derived from the steel business, she wants to make her own positive impact on life. Her aunt tells her that her efforts to improve the lives of the poor are poor attempts at boasting her own social credibility. But Mildred is determined to visit the stock hole below deck in hopes of meeting the workers there. She wants to experience their lifestyle. The captain of the ship has granted her permission only because she claimed that her father, the chairman of the ship line, had given her a letter asking her to inspect the ship. When the second engineer questions her choosing in wearing a white dress when she is about to go to a place which is dirty, she replies that she will just throw the dress away because she has plenty of clothes. In the stokehold, the men are dirty and sweating. Paddy is tired and Yank makes fun of him and boasts his own ability to work at the furnace without suffering exhaustion. His bragging rallies the other firemen and they work harder to continue stoking the fire. When Mildred arrives, all the men notice except for Yang who keeps working. When Yang does see her, he shouts a hateful look and looks at her very badly. Scared, she nearly faints. She asks to be taken away and calls him a filthy beast. Hearing this, Yank is angered by her insult and chucks his shawl at the door after she exists. After the shift ends, most of the firemen clean up except for Yank. Other men tease him saying he has fallen in love with Mildred. But he assures them that all he feels for Mildred is hatred. The firemen determined that the engineer showed them off to Mildred like showing animals at a zoo and calls Yank Harry Ape, which actually he likes because it allows him to imagine that they encounter led to violence directed at her. His temper rises and the other men have to hold him down to keep him from acting on his fantasy. After the ship reaches the port in New York, Long and Yank are walking in the streets of the city. Long provides more political viewpoints while Yank is angered by the exorbitant price of furs. He tries to start a fight with some wealthy churchgoers claiming that it is people like them with physical prowess that is like Yank who are very strong who actually make the world work. Before he can engage in any physical violence, the police arrest him. When he is in the jail, Yang feels like an animal caged at a zoo. Initially, the other prisoners make fun of him. But after he mentions Mildred's last name, they tell him about her father who is the president of the Steel Trust. One of them recommends that Yang join the Wobblies, a group of labor activists. Through them, Yang decides he will exact his revenge. As his temper continues to boil and he thinks of the steel bars restraining him, 
he manages to bend the steel bars so that the prison guards have to subdue him after he is left out of jail yang goes to the office of the wobblies wobblies is a nickname for the labor union known as the international workers of the world he wants to join but has to stop and think when he is asked for his legal name at first the labor union is excited to have yank because they want to organize other workers on the ship line but when they ask him whether he wants to achieve his goals through dynamite or legitimate direct action he answers dynamite therefore they reject his application because they think he is dangerous outside he repeats a complaint that he truly does not belong anywhere thinking he is drunk two policemen chastise him yang decides to visit the zoo then he walks into the monkey house where he tells the animals about his experiences in new york when a gorilla pounds his chest yang decides they belong together and thinks of they club as the hairy apes he opens a cage door releasing the gorilla which grabs him and pulls him into a bone crushing hug as he crumples to the ground and dies yang realizes that he does not belong with the hairy apes either and here in supply if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe and support thank you